Hey, welcome back with a question. What's unique about the Red Lobster Seafood Restaurant in Rapid City, South Dakota? Well, it's the furthest seafood restaurant from any ocean in the United States. But this isn't a film about the Red Lobster restaurant chain, although I'm sure they are wonderful. This is a film about submarines. In World War II, a number of submarines destined for the Pacific Ocean were built further from the sea than any ship ever before. Exactly 2,114 miles from the Pacific? 959 miles from the Atlantic and 1,094 miles from the Gulf of Mexico, which was going to be their destination. Who can guess where they built these submarines? And if you guessed Manitowoc, Wisconsin on Lake Michigan, you get 10 brownie points because that's true. In June 1940, President Roosevelt allowed Wisconsin to build submarines. Costing $2,850,000 each, their first submarine was the USS Pato, which they completed in only 34 months. And then they used this unconventional sideways launch technique. Using skills from their conventional boats, they came up with an innovative plan, which is still used today, and that was to build the submarines in sections. And then they welded them together using a unique jig. Every ship that's ever built must undergo sea trials to be certified, and the Manitowoc submarines dived in Lake Michigan. But none of this would have happened if they didn't have a fiendish plan to get the submarines from Wisconsin to the Pacific. There are three possible routes from Lake Michigan to an ocean. The first and most obvious route is via the St. Lawrence River to the Atlantic, but its docks were too small. The next is via Lake Erie and down the Hudson River to New York, but it was just too shallow for a big submarine. So the most unlikely route was chosen. They transported the submarines on board a flatbed barge from Manitowoc, Wisconsin via Chicago and down the Mississippi to the Gulf of Mexico. And that has to be the most fabulous part of this story. It was initially impossible. Nothing that big had ever gone down the Chicago River, joined the Mississippi and gone all the way to the Gulf. So the U.S. Corps of Engineers came up with two innovative ideas. First of all, they put the submarines on an incredibly shallow draft barge. The other thing they had to do was take off all the superstructure, any aerials, periscopes and the like, because of the low bridges. This solved the problem of the shallow waters of the Chicago River. The second is the so-called chain of rocks connection between the Chicago River and the Mississippi, and that's only nine foot deep. But amazingly, they did transport every submarine built in Wisconsin to the Gulf of Mexico on board a barge. And then the submarine's real journey began. It sailed under its own steam, through the Panama Canal, and they finally joined up with the US Navy in Brisbane, Australia. You can't forget that the submarine of the US Navy was its most dangerous branch. 52 US submarines were lost in World War II, with a tragic casualty rate of 22%. And so to celebrate the gallant men and women who built the submarines in Manitowoc, Wisconsin, you can now visit their submarine museum. And of course, after your visit, you can eat at the Red Lobster restaurant, almost the furthest away from any ocean. Thanks for watching. Remember to subscribe and ring the bell <laughs> because the truth is out there.